Good morning, everyone. It's so early. We gotta drop off RWB Ava at Kata Hotel for the Hot Wheels event. The ingress was either 12 midnight or early this morning. And hopefully, they don't have any high ramps. And I got to get the hubcaps. Sorry, I feel like I'm rushing, but we are. Because they have a specific window for ingress. Since we're like 17 minutes out, the traffic should be super light. But yesterday, we met Brandon, and he was at Classic Speed. He's gonna be the guest of honor this Saturday, where we're gonna be displaying this baby. And we're in talks. That's all I can say, we're in talks. <laughs> it would be an honor to be able to immortalize one of my builds in a Hot Wheels. And if you guys haven't had a Hot Wheels in your life, then I guess you're missing out because Hot Wheels is like a 58 year old company already and they were the, if not, pioneers in the diecast matchbox area, arena. And they're owned by Mattel, which also makes Barbie. And they've been in the industry for such a long time that they're the gold standard when it comes to collectibles. And I got educated yesterday on how much some of these collectibles go for. There was a Liberty Walk diecast that went out for, God, like $10,000. And then according to Brandon and Chris, like the most expensive ones were all the way up to $60,000, $70,000. It's a crazy, insane rate for such a small matchbox. But I guess if you're a collector, you're a collector. It doesn't matter if it's full-size cars or like little diecast. First issue of the morning, getting on the sidewalk. Problem when we remove the lift kit. So this should work, hypothetically, as long as these sandbags don't collapse. I wonder if this is gonna work. Okay, one problem down. So the next problem is they want us to drain the fuel. I was like, that's absurd. I'm actually curious if it'll fit the door also. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. <laughs> the next steps, waiting. The fountain foyer, I've never been in here before. But we're supposed to go through that entrance and it uh, looks like the car will fit. Love it. This new ride height is so good. Look how meaty and fit this fitment is. So believe it or not, that's not rubbing. I might want to bring this up a tad bit, but it's actually also not rubbing. Green light. I did a burnout here would be Davy Man. <laughs> Try not to be super noisy. This looks like it's gonna be a big show. So we parked the car and we're in talks now with Metrics, Chris, and then probably, I mean, the dream would be to have a Hot Wheel. Hot Wheel is the gold standard, right? So we're gonna come back on Saturday for the autograph signing. Maybe come back tomorrow because there's also a private viewer for the hardcore collectors. It's gonna be a crazy weekend. I've never been here. It's supposedly the Crystal Pavilion and interesting venue for this week. Yeah, what's up? What up, LJ? I'm trying to burn off some excess fuel. Good for the environment. <laughs> this is LJ's cute Jeep. I love it. Okay, see you guys soon. Okay, welcome back to the car shop. We're gonna be test driving this car now. We're just gonna go up and down the road here just to see that if anything else needs to be adjusted. We had to redo the brakes. We had to redo the suspension. We had to redo so many things. I don't even have headlights yet for this car. 
but today is the maiden voyage. So the boys here quickly put it together. We just strapped the plate number on and yeah, we're missing headlights and the signal lights, but just to drive the car. And as you can see, we pushed the bumper out considerably because of the system of uh, having a wire tire meant that the radiator was now hitting. So we had to move everything forward, which pushed the bumper out, which might be an issue when we're aligning for RWB. I hope not, but this is what it looks like now. And yeah, excited to bring this out. We're just waiting for some coolant because right now the coolant is low. I haven't ran this car in ages. Like literally, like probably it's been sitting here for half a year. Gotta service it, change some oil and do some basic stuff to it. But this is gonna be interesting. I'm excited to drive it and I know it's not aligned so we're gonna take it easy just to feel it for initially make sure that nothing else needs to be fixed they had to bleed the brakes twice last night because it wasn't stopping but today is it I'm so excited for this this car has my custom carbon interior so these are carbon fiber door guards with custom pull straps and handles this is a 997.1 turbo and I still need to change the head unit, but this is carbon fiber dash, carbon fiber center console, and it's real carbon fiber. It's not uh, laminate like what normal people do. And this is a mix mash of parts. I lost my turbo wing, sadly. So I'm running the 997.2 GT3 wing instead. This came off the rally car. We need to fix this part right here. But yeah, this is... This is crunch time. It is technically almost September and within the next 15 to 20 working days, Nakai will be here to cut this into an RWB. Although the rear fenders, we don't need to cut anything anymore because this was the old body kit that we did. And I'm hoping this is enough clearance. We've moved everything as much as we can. I don't know if this bracket is going to hit. And that's the whole test for today to check articulation also and test the brake. I love it. It looks so cool. I'm so excited that this is going to be the first Safari RWB. And our friend Jansen from Singapore was actually going to build a Safari also. But his is crazier because his has real like off-road suspension, long travel arms and stuff. And maybe down the line, that's something we want to do on a 964 project to make like not anymore safari it would be more like a trophy truck the trophy truck is the ones you see running in the desert going 100 miles per hour and it's super stable because they have like 16 inches of travel in the suspension this one we don't have that much travel i don't think we can even hop this car it's got probably roughly give or take like three four inches of travel and that's not a lot it's just enough to bring us places but not really do any serious off-roading in the meantime we're gonna remove the fiber matting from the side skirts I'm so curious to know what the weight is for this because the side skirts actually very light already just stripping the weave Wow this mold is so heavy <laughs> Add some coolant. Good luck to us. Hopefully we don't break down. This car needs to be driven. We used to have air suspension, but now that's gone. It also needs to be detailed. I can see the cat was inside the car. Okay, this would be not a cold start. We got a new battery also. Thank you to our boys at Varta. Okay, windows work. Oh wow, I have Christmas lights. First test if the brakes work. <laughs> oh my God. Wow, it actually runs straight. And the ride is so plush. Steering is a little off center. This is so cool. Clutch is so soft in this car. I should have brought my scanner for sure. Somewhere I need to do a U turn just to see. Okay, wait, let's test the brakes. We're gonna drag the brakes, make it heat up. Left foot brake in action. Good turning radius. Wow. The 
boys did a bang up job. Whoa, we have some electrical gremlins. So this car actually has been parked also because yes, it had electrical gremlins long ago. We actually don't have any VVDI on this. So I'm just burning the brakes in. Everything seems to be working except for the Christmas lights. I gotta change the brake pedals. We're boosting. We're riding well. Oh, this is gonna be so good, guys. <laughs> I'm so happy. You don't appreciate how a soft clutch feels until you drive one. The GT3 997, which we drove in this morning, has such a stiff clutch and we actually learned what's wrong with it. Oh God, this is so cool. all the Christmas tree lights. The car drives amazing, the aircon's working. Gotta change the head unit, fix this stupid locking cup holder thing. But this is ready to go to Classic Street. I'm gonna message the boys down there and see if we can schedule an earlier tow out. This is so cool. Excited to get this to paint. The ride is immaculate. This is, again, the best riding 997 I've ever driven. I'm so happy. The boys really did a bang up job, 100%. The car is ready. We're gonna check if the suspension settled. And so far, I didn't hear any rubbing. So here on the, I guess, passenger side, I have two fingers. And then here on the driver's side, I have loose, so, okay. So I gotta do some tension on this wheel here, but everything is good to go. I can't wait to see that video. Norman, <laughs> Galek, Ganda, Lambot, Mepreno, it's so good. Norman did all the hard work. Obviously, Ralph helped out. Kevin now busy with the Miata. We're trying to complete this car, get this off the paint also so that we can do a base clear coat, fix the electrical because I remember I effed it up. And then after that, this is gonna go to Mazda so that they can do some finishing touches with the stickers and livery. But this is the side skirt product. Oh my God, that's like what? Paper. 800 grams, so thin that it's so sharp. But what we've learned is to make it soft so that it sort of mimics the original ABS plastic but obviously it looks way cooler because it's carbon fiber. Look how light this is. I'm gonna lift it from the end like nothing. <laughs> so we measured the chassis and uh, nine and three four, nine and one half, which means the rear sank almost an inch. So we're going to bring up the spring perch in the back another inch roughly, or maybe even three fourth. If we bring up the spring perch three fourth, we should get over an inch here on the outside and without sacrificing the ride. Similar to Eric's car, all the ABS sockets and ABS sensors need to be replaced also. So I gotta order that. Try to get rid of some of the Christmas tree lights. It's a normal issue with the 997, but wow, I'm truly happy with this car. It's so cool. Can't wait to build this, this will be unique. Side skirt measurement. Okay. Okay. Okay, so update on the Andy Miata. That's our intake now. And as you can see, that's gonna go straight to the bumper. So we're gonna work that out. Hopefully that flow is going to be really good and we can get some beautiful cold air. But that's how our ducting looks like at the moment. We're gonna seal the bottom. And the shop is in full production. We gotta take out that piece for the side skirt. I think the fenders are done. Kevin's gonna trim already. And I'm gonna get out of here because that's messy. That's so lightweight. I love it. These are the fender flares for the rear. Let's mock this up so you guys can see how it's gonna look. Okay, so we gotta trim the fender. You get it to sit down. If not, yeah, it's sitting on top of it. 
but you get the gist where we wanted to cover the rear tire to get better airflow over the tire. Can't wait. This is gonna look so sexy. I ended up leaving the shop. We're on the way to Roadstar Makati. Roadstar is one of the pioneer shops that sells um, accessories and also had, has head units and we need a doubled in head unit. We have the Suncoast adapter to convert the original Bose sound system with the factory OEM head unit into a doubled in pioneer head unit so that Norman can finish wrapping up the interior. Um, they're also changing the brake pedals now. We do have the Ren line pedal which is smaller for manual transmission and then I have to order all the ABS sensors as well. So those are the things we're gonna do today. So happy that the car is finally running. Hey, Roadstar Makati. I think the entrance is here on the side. I haven't been here in at least a decade, maybe more. Roadstar used to have a branch also in BGC. Morning. Musta. <laughs> long time. Oh, long time. How are you? Long I'm time. Right, yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you. How is how is I everything? Know my brother and Benil Dexter. Of course, yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. Oh, hi. We're not yet here. I haven't been here in yeah, dec no, no. decades. I'm I'm in need of a. I'm in need of a head unit, a doubled in Pioneer head unit. So I'm doing a conversion on my 997 and I got the Suncoast adapter. So I just need a head unit. Sorry to bother you, you're still eating. Yeah, yeah, I'm having Yeah, what happened? Do you guys close the BGC? No, we, you know, we had to renew our contract and then they, just, they were planning to like develop it sana. Yeah. And then they realized that like, they just want to bring it back into a, like a carport. But you guys didn't renew that. No, so, we did. Oh, you did. So, so we're waiting for them to like finish the construction. Ah, so you're gonna move back. Yes. Normally so, I get Pioneer, but is there anything better? Thanks for coming here, huh? Of course. I remember you guys. I always used to get my stuff done here. All right. And cool, cool. and um, my little warehouse is in Evangelista, so we're right across the street now. What do you recommend for head unit? For you, it's better if you get the with the CarPlay so that it yes, can link. Yes. Definitely with CarPlay. So this one, for, what's the difference of the 4450 to the 5450? Apple CarPlay with the wire. Ito, Ito is wi wireless, wireless na talaga. Yung 54 wireless yan. Okay, so we gotta go wireless. I think, yeah, it, it's, uh, <laughs> That's I think, it. Yeah, you can go with that. Okay. And we give you extra discount for that, pare. Awesome. One, please. <laughs> Ilang years ka na? 20 years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 20 years na tayo. Oh, so, di ba, auto cycle was the first. Uh, yes. Oh. And then uh -huh. BGC, and then balik here, and then BGC. Right? Yeah, uh -huh. galang, innovation naman. Galang, so. We're not endorsed by Pioneer, but we are fans of Pioneer. And this is Rush, so I want to finish the interior ASAP. So, do you need discount? <laughs> Freebie? <laughs> less city mo na lang. Okay. Right? Less, less. <laughs> Thank you. Got our head unit. Let's get out of here. Thanks, Bye, man. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, gangster. This is what the head unit looks like. And so this one is going to connect to the car socket. And then this one, we're going to bridge with the wiring harness from the head unit. So I remember wiring this in already. And we're going to do this quickly. Huh. Looks like a GPS. Module. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna bridge these guys together and then basically get I mean new work. Hopefully. When I tried this on the 997, I actually ran into an issue and it didn't want to work. So hopefully we don't encounter the same thing. You want to cheat the handbrake so that you can fiddle around with the radio while you're moving. Okay, we have an issue. That's the wrong socket because it looks like a triple socket and we have this guy so hypothetically this is supposed to adapt there this is not gonna work it's for the non Bose system and this is the Bose system and we're also missing the front plate so I can't use that kit that we have we're gonna return all this back and I now have a doubled in head unit for one of the other car projects before we go any further I want to thank the sponsors for the battery of this car which is Barta Philippines Thank you so much to Barta Philippines for always getting me running. Without them, this car, we wouldn't have been able to road test it today. The battery of this car was super old already. It was an older gen battery, which we also forgot to tender because the car has been parked for over a year already. Barta always has stock of the cars. It's very efficient to buy from them and they have so many dealers nationwide. Welcome back here to Okada. I'm here in front of RWB Ava and I'm just waiting for the Hot Wheels people. There's a collector dinner tonight and it's 
it's going to be interesting because they have a sort of uh, open bidding tonight where one of the Hot Wheels is going to start at an exorbitant rate. It's my first time to attend a sort of like Hot Wheel car auction and it's interesting because some of the values of these Hot Wheels are super crazy. We're the first in line here in the whole event and this event starts tomorrow. So it's going to be crazy full of people but for tonight it's a private dinner for all these serious collectors for Hot Wheels. We've got our first Hot Wheels RWB. Boom! This is Stella and there's little diorama of Nakaisan and signed by Brendan Reddy. My first RWB Hot Wheels in the last four days we've received four Hot Wheels already. Starting off my collection. Okay. I've actually never been here before. Yeah. yeah. So welcome to the Cove Manila. I know. It's like a pool club. Okay, guys, this is the start. Oh, wow, look at the sunset. We have like an orange sunset. So, apparently, tonight here in Okada, they can only do one auction. And then when we go to the Ronak Center, we're gonna have maybe five more cars. That's you! That's you! <laughs> it's like, you're here! <laughs> Brandon's getting recognition for being an awesome designer. Brandon's been working in the toy industry since 96, believe it or not. This is so crazy. That little Brandon yes. with his gasser. It's like a little terrarium. <laughs> Making our way down to Ronak Center. Just had a good dinner and got some photos with Okada team. And now we're going to see the auction. They did the auction a while ago and I think they're saying it sold for like 600 bucks. Was it? $600? Just one item though. And then now we're going to Ronak so we can see the other cars for auction and we have this special buggy service. Let's get some auctions on the road. Look at this. Custom Ava and then a custom dealership. This is how obsessed. Okay, little backstory. This is the one of one 3D prototype of the basically the gasser that Brendan designed. And Brendan was explaining that before they go into production, they do 3D prints so that they can just hold something physical. And this is the prototype. So they're going to auction this off. It's for a province where Chris came from and Chris is supporting his village. Another one, it's a 3D printed by a Safari version of a Bel Air. And same, one of one. This is the Baja version. And then some posters. This one's a Camaro. Looks like a really nice uh, drag Camaro with a really fat rear tires. Okay, let's start the spinning. Yeah. Alright, here we go. So we have here the Firebird sketch by Brandon Vitusky, everyone. So starting with is piece of I'll do 5,000. 5,000 for Miss Angie King. Wow. <laughs> wow. I like the Camaro. 5,000. 5,000. I'm going to hang that in classic speed. All right. 5,000. Final call. Congrats. Yeah. So First drawn from you too. Yeah. So lots of first. 55 Chevy Gasser. This is the gasser. Of yours truly, Mr. Brandon Petuski. $200. dollars dollar Nice, nice. Two Okay, the next drawing sold for $250, but everyone's gunning for this oh, one. Go. This is 
six Chevy that I work on. Four hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars from Chevy. <laughs> wow. Okay, nine hundred. Yeah. Nine hundred dollars. I should just walk out with this. No one will notice me. I'll just see you guys. This is the grand prize. Last and final call. Did you miss me? This one's got a big budget. Thank you. Everyone's going to put like three, four grand on this one. This is the only color combination that's ever been printed in, so it is a one of one. Two thousand. Two thousand US dollars. <laughs> you do know this is US dollars. Yes. Right? Okay, good. I'm going to bring us home. Three. Three. We got three grand. Three grand right here. Three? We jetted already because it is hot. I want to go to bed and that was crazy. Good thing the charity got some money. Continuation. Okay, we're gonna drop off a car because we gotta make space for a car coming this afternoon. Decided to continue the vlog because it doesn't make sense to not show you guys the actual Hot Wheels event later. But first, I gotta drop off this car, pick up the 430 because the alignment is finally done. And then this afternoon, we have a car coming in straight from Classic Speed. And we're gonna get to try it out on Sunday. Okay, let's go. Still feeling a little drained, but I'm excited to try out the F430 because all the suspension arms have been refreshed. We changed a lot of the bushings, the tie rods, the control arms, and hopefully the car drives straight now. And we're gonna be bringing it down to the Okada Crystal Foyer Fountain something. And excited to see all the fans of the Hot Wheels. I missed the opening ceremonies, which was 10 a.m. this morning, but honestly, I was so exhausted. Last night was a fun night, and it was super late for me to get back into my sleep rhythm. And I actually had a drip this morning just to get a booster for the weekend. Our little tunnel underneath. this car? I wonder why it's here. Heading to the venue, let's go. Finally on the way and the clutch pedal feels like it's a little low and the bite point brought down. The bite point's when the clutch engages with the gears and transmission and if the pedal sinks, the bite point also sinks, then there could be a problem with the master or the slave. The master is the guy that's near your clutch foot, and then the slave is what's near the gearbox. Since this car was converted to a manual from the uh, F1 paddle shifter, I don't know exactly what the conversion parts were, but I need to double check now and see if we can buy those parts, because yeah, either you bleed it, and it's okay, but if not, then one of the cylinders might be going. But so far, I'm not snagging on any gears. I feel so bad, I'm so late for the event. Some amazing bikers on the side of the road cheering me on to rev the car. But we're going back on to the Skyway. I, I usually get lost on the these interconnecting ramps. So I was talking to the staff yesterday. Okada is 44 hectares. That is insanity. And each shift that Okada has is about a thousand employees. That is nuts. 
I mean, just the management level of that is crazy. Thank you so much to Okada for arranging special parking for us. Beautiful. The car's driving so well. Let's go inside now. Okay, we're back. Hot wheels. Let's check out this crowd, guys. This is so crazy. We're here. Okay. I'm sorry I'm late. It's okay. Good morning. Good morning. A successful second day. Brandon is working now. How's that Hi, wrist? Rock star. How's that <laughs> wrist doing so far? Doing well. Have a seat. I'm sorry I'm late. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Beside Brendan. Wow. Did, do you guys do a head count? Like, is there a counter? There is no counter, but even Brendan says, oh, this is not nowhere close to Japan and Singapore. So, also, much more spread out, which helps. The other one was much smaller. Like, you've got more up, up the music, so you know, the. the the vibe. the vibe. Yeah, the vibe. It looks like a, a nice, long, healthy line. And yeah, it's been this way the whole time. We, we need to we need to cut it off. Well, Hello. So put someone at the end There's, and just go. Yep. That's the end. Yep, it's still a long line. I can see all the people Wait, waving. Hello. Hello. How are you doing today? So since I'm late, we're going this to... This is chrome paint. You've got to let it dry until for a Otherwise, it's going to swim. And then we're going to go for lunch and then do it again this afternoon. Yes. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay. Quick, keep walking. <laughs> Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Okay. We're going out for lunch. Just had our quick lunch break. Bingo. Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> Bad kid. <laughs> <I> could totally. <laughs> so, how are you loving the Philippine fans this 2024? It's incredible. They are very passionate, very enthusiastic about the Hot Wheels product, and it's always fun to be here. And I thrive off that that passion. It just fuels me to want to go back and make more cool product. I know, and and you're so like hospitable and personable, and you really ask and you know check on what they're they're into and how they're doing show them the prototypes i'm like wow you have so much space for these kids we're all uh, all one family i mean we all enjoy hot wheels and i understand what it's like to be a collector as I'm a collector myself so <laughs> i get it and um, do you see a surge in more younger generation or a more older generation it seems to be people of all ages are into into hot wheels these days I mean, maybe back when they first came out, it was older kids, but Hot Wheels have geared younger over the years, so the track and play sets will be as early as, you know, like maybe three or four years old for some city sets, and playing with that. The monster trucks, even though they're rated three and up, young kids will be playing with them. They're, they're very easy to grab onto, very tactile, and the cool shapes and variety of them, yes. it just makes it fun for storytelling and playing, and the kids can crush and roll over things and, <laughs> and have fun with it. So Hot Wheels, I mean, they just go down very young age like that. And then, of course, the collectors, there's no end in sight. I mean, people collect them for as long as they live. I know. It's, it's, last night was a good glimpse on the Hot Wheels selling at like, Five, five, two. Where'd we end? Yeah, it was. I think fifty-two hundred was for yeah. that one three D printed. That was 55 cool. Chevy. It was just like, damn. <laughs> and they they can and do go for more. Just still learning the market. There's a big crowd. It's almost like the car show crowd, but for Hot Wheels. And I'm I'm just amazed. Like it's different demographics. Normally in the car show, it's mostly men. Mm -hmm. So here we're seeing mixed. Mixed them mixed. Yeah. While there's always been interest from, from women, I'd say it's grown in more recent years. That's amazing. Yeah. And compared to the other countries that you've done your world tour, mm -hmm. and how do you compare the Philippine market? Very passionate, very hungry. Um, it's my understanding that product is not as easily available here, so it's harder to get. And I think that just helps drive some of the enthusiasm because, as you know, supply and demand. Of course. Now you gotta call the main office and say like, hey, <laughs> Philippines is a market. Hello. Hopefully uh, <laughs> some of the people that were also at the dinner last night yes. will uh, 
be able to do something about that. Awesome, awesome. You heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the fray. Yes? Thank you. Hi, I'm Gigi. Hello, hi. Yes? Quick walk, walk, walk. <laughs> Following Brendan. His photo taken. Hello. Blushing. Look at that. Oh wow, with the print. Yeah. I love shark. <laughs> Baby shark. <laughs> so it's based off the gasser still. Yeah. yeah this is exactly. really famous. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Look at that crowd. It's getting back. Hi. Hi. Hello. Okay, going back for signatures. Hello. Thank you, Okada, for the flowers. That's so sweet. <laughs> okay, guys, we're leaving. Thanks, Brendan. All right. Bye, guys. Okay, we're out. Let's go, let's go. Thank you. Okay, it's so crazy. Oh wow, that was such a crazy experience. Thank you so much to Hot Wheels Philippines, Hot Wheels Official, and obviously Chris from Metrics, and obviously also Brendan for being such a sport. It was crazy. It was nice to meet all the people who are obsessed with Hot Wheels and see this community. You know, it doesn't matter if it's real cars or little die-cast collector cars. Everyone who loves anything on wheels was here today. And I'm blown away. But now I had to go because we are going to be meeting the tow truck. Because one of the cars that are from Classic Speed is finally here. I don't know if you guys can guess, but you're going to have to probably wait till I end this video. Headless chicken. But here it is, the last car for today. It's here. Hello. Thank you. We're here. Oh yeah. So we ended up putting a fuel gauge there. And it says three fourths, but it's actually very full. I'm doing my first test drive in the Ferrari 550 and I haven't driven this car on the road, let alone the highway. So we're gonna do a quick short drive now, see how the car is. Good thing the aircon is cooling down and we've managed to solve a lot of the issues of this car. But it still needs a lot of work. We still have a check engine light, so I don't know what to do about that. We're gonna send the car for tuning and see if we can code that out. But this is it. We'll do a little window down so you can hear the howl of the V12. Coolant's already past 90 and we haven't gone anywhere. We're just crawling through traffic now, but it looks like I'm at the 95 range already. The seatbelt's also upside down. <laughs> Yep, that's like past 90. I need to ask the other 550 owners what the proper temps are. And it's straight to the highway. Nowhere else to test it. The temperature is steadily crawling up. Even if we change the radiator and the fans, 
something up with the cooling. Maybe our thermostat is stuck up or it's a little old and slow. what is the operating temperature for the coolant but even the oil goes up to a hundred so I gotta figure that out starts right up though let's get out here park it and then we'll try to take it out tomorrow you can hear it's misfiring now it doesn't like the hotter temperatures there the temperature is going down because the water pump is cooling <laughs> 